Hello, my name is Cipriano Vigil, and I'm here today to talk to you about the corridos, a style from northern New Mexico and Mexico that has widely been used here in, in writing songs. When the corrido originated, it uh, used to be like a form of a newspaper in a sense to provide information to the people that otherwise they probably wouldn't have known. Back when the corridos started, there was no printing press, so, so the corridos had to be taken from one place to another in this way by singing them. And uh, people would pay more attention if somebody was singing than if they were just trying to say something, you know. And to this day, it still happens because there's a lot of people don't listen to the news, so but they hear music and they'll hear a corrido, they'll know what happened. You know. The corrido can be happy or sad, depends. A happy would be like a story about your favorite animal or, or a heroic person, popular horses or popular people, whatever. But also it can be very sad. Corridos that deal with crime, with death, with the catastrophes. But the corridos usually are about something that took place already. And you guys could write corridos about something within your family. If you have lost a loved one in your family, you can write a corrido about that. In Mexico, there's a lot of corridos, and uh, as well as here in New Mexico, of course, or actually in any Spanish-speaking uh, countries. Uh, in Mexico, usually the corridos are written about the revolution. Uh, that's the most heaviest form of corrido found in Mexico. In New Mexico, it's more about other events that have happened. The name of the corrido derived from the word correr, which means fast pace or fast movement. The reason he got that name is because it's a fast meter. It's fluent and it's a uh, fast pace. Now, if you wanted to write a corrido, first of all, you'd have to f think of uh, an idea. What do you want to write a corrido about? Do you want to write a corrido about your grandpa, about your parents, about your dog, about whatever you want? Now, what you do is you first remember that it's going to take four lines for the corrido, okay? In a verse form. That would compile, a, that would make up a verse, four lines. Now, each line would be at least eight syllables so that you could be able to count the syllables one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And those eight syllables would make the first line. Same thing on the second one, same thing on the third, and same thing on the fourth. Now, one characteristic is that the top line has to rhyme with the third line, and the second line has to rhyme with the fourth line, okay? And that would make up the corrido. Now, on the meter, you can do a, what we call a two-fourth, which is like this. Where you have one bass and one downbeat. Or you can do a slower version. Have one bass and two downbeats. So either one of those meters, which is a two-fourth or a three-fourth, is what you would employ. Okay. Another characteristic is that uh, at the beginning of the corrido, you have what they call the announcement of the time, the day of the event, usually the day and the year of the event that took place. Okay. The corrido. The corrido that I'm singing, that I'm sharing with you today, is one that I wrote about a musician. And uh, it'll give the date of when this started to happen. In other words, when he was born. And, uh, and I'll break it down after I sing the verse in the, in the corrido, okay? En el año 1900 Cuarenta y uno corriendo El diecinueve de octubre Un niño estaba naciendo Catalina se llama su madre Su padre Rubén Vigil niño nació por la noche con la luz de un viejo candil 
¿Quién lo iba a imaginar? De que el niño se iba a convertir en un músico del pueblo y a su gente le iba a cumplir. Su vida ha sido muy buena, llena de mucho sabor. Él se fue acumulando todo lo que le ofrecía el folclor. Gentes de pueblos chicanos. De todito este país, pues han tenido la dicha de a este músico ir. Les ha traído alegría con todo su corazón. A todas clases de gente ha sido su orgullo y pasión. Todo mundo lo conoce por su música y amistad. Es un tesoro del pueblo y esto es la purita verdad. Quisiera decirle su nombre, es mejor el secreto guardar. Ahí le figuran ustedes, ahí cuando lo oigan cantar. Él canta sus composiciones y otras canciones también. Toca varios instrumentos, ¿quién será? Ay, figuren de quién. El corrido de un músico. Now, I'm going to break it up for you so you'll see the, at the beginning, you have, in el año 1900, in the year 1900, That's the first line, the syllable, en el año 1900, that's the eight syllables. 41 corriendo, the second line, 41 and running, meaning the year 1941, when he was born. And then it even gives you the day, el 19 de octubre, the 19th of October. Now notice the first line, 900 and octubre sort of rhymes. The second line, corriendo, naciendo, that rhymes perfect. Now, usually the third, first and the third line rhymes, but not as strong as the second and the fourth line. Those have to be very strong, ending in the same syllable, in other words, or as close as possible. That's the main characteristic of when you write the corrido. And notice that it was four lines. And each verse goes like that. Y, y así es como se escriben los corridos. That's the way you write the corridos. You give them first the date of the event of what happened, and then you go with the story. So if you guys are planning on writing a corrido, let's say uh, you have your favorite dog and uh, you love him to death, well, you want to write him a, cor a corrido about him, there you have your story. Now all you have to do is think of some things that this dog has done with you, or makes you run, or you take him out for walks, or whatever, or you bathe him and all this, and gets you all wet. All of these stories, you can incorporate into a corrido. And then, of course, you use that format. Four lines, eight syllables per line, matching the first and the third, but strongly rhyming the second and the fourth line, okay? I wrote a corrido about the chile verde, the green chili, like the hatch chili, in other words, because uh, there was this huge companies that wanted to come in and alter those seeds 
so they could produce a larger chili. At least that's what they said. But uh, when you do something like that with chemicals or whatever, it's going to affect the people. So I decided to write a corrido about Del Corrido del Chile Verde. Señores, pongan cuidado Lo que les voy a contar Nos quieren cambiar la semilla Y no dejarnos sembrar El chile y sus semillas Pertenecen a nuestro estado Si las perdemos del todo, seguro nos mandan al diablo. Lo que quieren estas compañías, como la de Monsanto, acabar con nuestra cultura y lo que representamos. Si nos quitan estas semillas, después nos harán comprarlas. Las semillas del chile verde y también bien alteradas. No se crean de compañías poderosas. Ellos nos quieren mandar al infierno si fuera posible por tal de salir ganando lo que tenemos en nuestro estado es nuestro y es muy sagrado debemos de cuidarlo siempre de estos ladrones malvados es una vergüenza lo que pasa estas compañías grandes le mienten a la gente tanto pa poder apoderarse si sí, pues hay que no dejarnos Que haya cambio de esa semilla, que no nos den gato por liebre, aunque la tengan bien pintada. Lo que digo es muy cierto, y aquí estamos de testigos. Quieren cambiar las semillas. Ellos son los enemigos. Ya con esta me despido. Solo les quiero advertir. No dejen que haya cambio o nos vamos a morir. That was uh, corrido based on the change that's been trying to take place by these huge companies of the seeds of the green chili that's produced here in New Mexico. Because see, a lot of people hadn't realized that these Monsanto companies were trying to alter the seeds of the chili, you know. So this corrido utilizes that same example to be able to show the people that haven't heard about this, you know. So, it employs that news uh, format as well, you know. Okay, uh, now I've uh, described the corrido for you. I even shared some of cor my corridos and some of others' corridos as well. Now you go ahead and, and enjoy yourself and write a corrido and share something that you cherish a lot. Share it with somebody else. Now's your chance to write a corrido. You already have the structure of it. All you have to do now is write it out and tell your story, okay? Enjoy the corridos yourselves.